Dear students, how are you? The, the condition in your country and the whole world is not good due to COVID-19. Um, we are stuck down to home uh, in self-quarantine, that the government said so, and we should uh, maintain this uh, for, our, for our health and for our family. Please stay at home. Uh, welcome to my class. This is for class 10, chemistry, chapter 11. Let's start the class. Welcome to all. Please stay home, stay safe. It's me, Kabir Ahmed Khan, Senior Teacher, Chemistry Department, Bishesh Tamusha Abdurru Public College. Today's lesson is Chemistry, Chapter 11, Mineral Resources. Fossils lesson one all lessons will be uploaded frequently. Please stay with us a lesson 11.1 to 11.2 Today's learning outcome is From this class you will be able to explain the concepts of fossil fuels and also you will be able to explain the classifications of hydrocarbons, please Notice pictures, here are two pictures for you. First, oil field in Russia. We have no oil fields, so I use a photo from Russia. And Sangu gas fields in our country. Here, today's lesson is mineral resources fossils. Here is Borpukuria coal mine in Dinaspur. What is fossil fuels? Uh, here is the definition. A natural fuel formed in the geological past from the remains of living organisms is called fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, there are three types of fossil fuels mainly. Coal, natural gas and petroleum. Coal in Bangla, Koela, but not this Koela of Shahrukh Khan. This is the coal, petroleum gas or natural gas, LPG, we use in our daily life, LPG gas. Petroleum, petrol, octane, diesel, we use to drive a car. Fossil fuels we get mainly from living plants or animals. Where coal, we get coal from gigantic plants, gigantic plants converts to coal, phytoplankton, zooplankton, and other bodies of diseased animals convert into petroleum. And petroleum, by more changing, turns into natural gas. Oh, so uh, we get coal from plants, petroleum oil from living, living animals like phytoplankton, zooplankton, or living for uh, we we uh, men or men women or another living animals, and natural gas we get it from petroleum gas. Petroleum gas more and more change and turn into natural gas. So main source is dead animal body and main elements of fossil fuel is carbon and compounds of carbon like hydrocarbon. So I start with hydrocarbons. Where is classifications of hydrocarbon? Mainly two types, aromatic and aliphatic. Aliphatic uh, again are two types, open chain hydrocarbon and closed chain hydrocarbon. Closed chain hydrocarbon is of two types, uh, saturated alicyclic and unsaturated alicyclic. Open chain is also uh, two types, saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon. 
Sustituted hydrocarbon is also called alkane. Unsustituted hydrocarbon are of two types, alkene and alkyne. Please take a picture or take a snapshot. Uh, you may write down from here. If again, you may take a picture. Here, hydrocarbons in details. Hydrocarbons containing only two elements like carbon and hydrogen. There are no other elements in hydrocarbon. Carbon and hydrogen is, is in covalent bond. You know three types of bond in class 9 like ionic, covalent and metallic bond. Here you will see only covalent bond. It denotes as CXHY where X is the number of carbon and Y is the number of hydrogen. Methane, uh, ethane, cyclohexane, benzene, uh, some of uh, hydrocarbons. Uh, you can see here methane CH, ethane same CH, CH and CH. There are no other elements uh, rather than carbon and hydrogen. Hydrocarbons are mainly two types. Here is aliphatic hydrocarbons and aromatic hydrocarbons. Aliphatic hydrocarbon. The word aliphatic comes from fat, aliphatic uh, something uh, like fatty, mainly obtained from animal fat, that is why it is called aliphatic hydrocarbon. Aliphatic hydrocarbon are of two types, open chain hydrocarbon and closed chain hydrocarbon. Open chain aliphatic hydrocarbon, two terminal carbons of the carbon chain are in open state. So it is called open chain hydrocarbon. Here, propane, ethene. You can see propane, three carbons in the carbon chain, but carbon one and carbon three is remain in open state. But carbon, second carbon, is uh, located with another two carbon, but carbon first and carbon last is in open state. So it is called open chain aliphatic hydrocarbon. Now, open chain aliphatic hydrocarbons are of two types, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated open chain hydrocarbons, the open chain hydrocarbon of which has only, only carbon carbon single bond. You must know here is only carbon carbon single bond, such as ethene, carbon carbon single bond, propane, carbon carbon single bond, again single bond, it is called saturated open chain hydrocarbon. Unsaturated open chain hydrocarbons, the open chain hydrocarbon of which has one or more than one double and triple bond. Double or triple bond, one or more than one, is called unsaturated hydrocarbons, like ethene, carbon-carbon double bond, ethane, carbon-carbon triple bond. Unsaturated open chain hydrocarbons it, uh, are divided into two types. Here is alkene and alkyne. Alkene, carbon carbon double bond, is present in the carbon chain, double bond. Where ethene, look, carbon carbon double bond. So when uh, you see carbon carbon double bond, you can call it ethene, alkene. When the number of carbons is 2, is ethene, 3, propene, 4, butene, 5, pentene, like that. Alkyne, in the carbon chain, carbon-carbon in triple bond, present in triple bond in carbon chain, that is called alkyne. So ethene, you, may, you can see carbon-carbon triple bond, 2 carbons, it is ethene, 3, propyne, butene, like that. Closed chain hydrocarbons, the terminal carbons of the chains are connected together and make a sphere or a cycle. First and last carbon connected with each other and make a cycle. It is called closed chain hydrocarbons. Sometimes it is called alicyclic hydrocarbons. 
Closed chain hydrocarbons are of two types. There is saturated closed chain hydrocarbons and unsaturated closed chain hydrocarbons. You can see there is three carbons and carbon-carbon single bond. You may say propane, but due to the cyclic structure, it is called cyclopropane. You are right. Then there is six carbons in a chain, so hexane, but cyclic compound, so it's called cyclohexane. Understand? I think you may understand the class. Uh, again, there is three carbons and a double bond, so you may say propene, but it is cyclopropene, and there is four carbon and one carbon-carbon double bond, so you may say butene, but it is cyclobutene. Understand? Here, aromatic hydrocarbons. First, we said two types of hydrocarbons, aliphatic and aromatic. Uh, we discuss a lot about aliphatic hydrocarbon, but in this uh, class, in class 10, uh, you, have you have not many discussion about uh, aromatic hydrocarbons. Just one slide you may understand here, and you will get a question of two marks. Aromatic is taking a Greek word, aroma. Aroma means scent or fragrance, because uh, first time uh, the aromatic compounds was found, it is smelling sweet. After that, uh, another many many aromatic hydrocarbons uh, were uh, was in uh, are in the uh, world that is not smelling good, uh, very bad smelling. Generally, five, six, or seven membered coplanar cyclic compounds. It is. Uh, it is alternative double bonds. Alternative double, more, double bond means carbon-carbon single bond, then carbon-carbon double bond, again single bond, again double bond. It is called alternative double bonds. You may see here benzene. It is a six-membered hydrocarbon, closed chain hydrocarbon. And here you can see carbon-carbon single bond, then double bond, again single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. So it is called alternative double bond. So benzene is a aromatic compound, aromatic hydrocarbon, uh, like naphthalene, there is 10 membered carbon chain, two benzene cycle is present here, it is called naphthalene, is also aromatic compound. Any questions? Uh, I think uh, you have many more questions in your mind, uh, but uh, in this time you, you, are, you are not able to connect with me. If you would like to, you may connect with this email ID. You may connect with a B or Versa, Viver, also Emo from this number. Uh, please leave a question, and uh, when I will be able to, I will answer as, is, as early as possible. Some questions for you. Uh, why benzene is an aromatic hydrocarbon? Uh, then does, does ethane saturated or unsaturated hydrocarbon? Write down these questions. And these also. This is for HW. Uh, you may write down in your paper and answer also. And you may uh, publish to your teacher to check it when his school will be, uh, his school will open. And you may also uh, send me a picture of these questions and these answers. Thank you so very much from said thank you. Again, use it, use gloves, use mask and sunglasses if possible when you would like to go out from home if needed. I, I request you don't go out of home. Please stay with home. If, if you need a mask necessary situation, use, use gloves in your hands, mask in your mouth, gloves, sunglasses or uh, safety glasses in your eye. Thank you so very much. We will be meeting again in, in our next classes. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.